Welcome to the first session in our series of videos on how to critically appraise a randomized controlled trial following the CASP checklist. In this session, we'll answer the first question, did the study address a clear focus question? The first validity question in the checklist is very simple and quick to answer. It checks whether the study clearly states the clinical question it claims to address by using the PICO model. The PICO format, widely used in evidence-based practice, can help frame a research question. P stands for the patient, population or problem being studied. I refers to the intervention being tested. C is for comparison. It can be a placebo, a different drug or therapy approach and O relates to the outcomes being measured. Going back to our study, let's now answer the first question of the CASP checklist. The title, abstract or final paragraph of the introduction should provide the answer. On page 810, at the very end of the introduction, there's a clear statement of the question being addressed in line with the PICO method. Our patients are Japanese patients with knee osteoarthritis. The intervention is the drug duloxetine. The comparison is a placebo. The outcomes measured are efficacy and safety. Further details of the outcomes measured can be found in the abstract under the patients and methods section. The primary outcome focuses on pain severity. Secondary outcomes look at other possible benefits of the treatment, including health-related quality of life as well as other aspects such as safety and tolerability. So did the study address a clear focused research question following the PICO method? We can tick yes with confidence.